Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our March Patch Tuesday updates rolling out for Windows 10 and Windows 11. And as many of you will know, Patch Tuesday updates roll out on the second Tuesday of every month and will be downloaded and installed automatically on your Windows 10 device. Now for this month, uh, we have KB5035845. So once the update is installed, it will be listed uh, under quality updates 5035845. And this update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world on the 12th of March. Now these updates are also called B-release updates, as you may well know. And the patch Tuesday updates address security issues for your Windows OS. And for Windows 10 for March, we have 36 vulnerabilities that have been fixed. And two of those are critical, which is your highest ranked vulnerability. So an important security update rolling out this month. And the two critical vulnerabilities that have been fixed for Windows 10 version 22H2 are Windows Hyper-V Remote Code Execution Vulnerability and Windows Hyper-V Denial of Service Vulnerability. Those are the two critical. We also get 34 important and then 36 vulnerabilities in total have been addressed for Windows 10 22H2. Now, if you didn't install this quality update that rolled out, the optional bug fix update that rolled out near the end of February um, last month, or the very beginning of March in my region, KB5034843, which was the optional bug fix update that included one or two new improvements and a whole lot of bug fixes, then those improvements will now be carried over into this update for Patch Tuesday 5035845. And I did post a whole video on uh, that optional bug fix update, which I will leave down below in the description in case you would be interested. And I'll also leave that in the end screen if you just want to play catch up because it'll walk you through a lot more in detail what rolled out with that update, which if you didn't install because it was optional, will now be available with this Patch Tuesday update for March. Now, there was a new feature, and if we just head back into our settings and we navigate to our system page and we head to shared experiences, it includes a Windows share, Windows share now directly sharing URLs to apps like WhatsApp. So just to kind of demonstrate, and obviously, um, if you have WhatsApp installed on your Windows 10 device, this will apply. Well, if you if you don't have WhatsApp installed on your Windows 10 device, obviously, um, this will not apply to you. So you need to make sure nearby sharing's on. And if we just quickly head over to an image just to demonstrate, if you right click with Share turned on, and you click on Share in that right click context menu, this is where you'll be able to um, see your WhatsApp um, little logo and icon where you can obviously as mentioned windows share now directly shares urls to apps like whatsapp so that's the new feature that rolled out with that optional bug fix update which will be included in this update and just a quick recap regarding some key highlights from that other update um it affects games you install on a secondary drive it affects the windows backup app it addresses an issue that affects microsoft edge addresses an issue that affects the Japanese input method editor and some other fixes rolled out, but that video will be down below and in the end, and in the end screen of this video. And once this update has been installed, um, if we just head over to Winver to see our latest um, build upgrade for Windows 10 version 22H2. This is the About Windows menu. And the OS build now has been bumped up to 19045 Point four one seventy, if you are running version 22H2. So that's more or less what's new in KB5035845, which is the March Patch Tuesday security update for Windows 10. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.